Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about Oscar De La Hoya trying to make a fight with uh, Jaime McGill versus Jamal Charlo. You know, that fight, I think that fight would be an interesting fight. Um, but at the same time, um, well, let me talk about the fight between these two two guys. Uh, I mean, both of them are six foot. Uh, Jaime McGee is, uh, of course, he's, uh, uh, he's from Mexico, so he's Mexican. And uh, Jam Jamal Charlo is uh, American. Jaime, Jaime McGeer is uh, 22 years old. And then Jamal Charlo is 29 years old. The both of them are orthodox fighter. Uh, Jaime McGeer got a total of 33 wins, 26 knockouts, and zero losses. And uh, Jamal Charlo has 29 wins, 21 uh, knockouts, and zero losses. And they are these... These fighters, uh, well, well, some people would say that. Well, I say Hayden McGee is uh, not so much proven, and Jamal Charlo is, is there too, in, his, in 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 a sense too. I, I agree with that. You know, he's not. So he didn't beat. He didn't have. He haven't beat no. Well, Julian Julian Williams. Um, he. I think he's a good name on his resume. Uh, you know, what I'm saying better than uh what uh Hayden McGee has. He has. He really don't have nobody. I don't know. I don't know too many people on his resume. Most most. Look at this. I see his I'm seeing his resume right now. Twenty-six of his fights. Twenty-six of his fights. Matter of fact, I'm gonna say twenty-five of his fights is in Mexico. And then, you know what I'm saying? So Sadan Ali, that was a mismatch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they say that he was he, he was supposed to be in there with uh uh Jaime McGee. He was a big uh uh a, a big uh he was supposed to be somewhat in the super middleweight in the sense, you know what I'm saying, which he was a middleweight and Saddam Ali was a middleweight too. So, I mean, what it, what it is, what it is, is happening, happened, right? He beat him. But, I mean, he's not he's not a well-known name. And they said, they see a lot of people say he, uh, Hyman McGill lost against Dennis, Dick, Dennis Hogan, the, the Irish guy. You know what I'm saying? And Dennis Hogan uh, kind of, uh, he, he hurt uh, Hyman McGill. You know what I'm saying? Now, Jamal Charlo, he didn't do good in his, uh, not his last fight, not Brandon Brandon Adams. He didn't knock him out, but, I mean, both of them didn't knock out their opponents in their two last fights. Let's put it like that, right? But Matt Coverball, I think uh, Jamal Charlo lost that fight. But, you know, one thing is Jamal Charlo never got hurt in that fight. And of course, uh, Matt Coverball was a, a softball fighter. You know what I'm saying? You know. But the thing about it is, Matt Coverball is a very skilled fighter too. He's a Russian uh, fighter. You know what I'm saying? So, but the thing about it between uh, Jamal Charlo and Jaime McGill opponent Dennis Hogan, Jamal Charlo hurt Col uh, Matt Coverball almost probably knocked him out. Could have could have probably knocked him down, knocked him out in the I think it was the eleven or twelfth round. It's been so long ago, but Jaime McGill got hurt by uh, Dennis Hogan in the uh, I think the eleventh round, if I'm not mistaken, or the twelfth round. It was one. Of, it was been a long. It's, it's been a long time since I seen uh, since I seen that fight. You know what I'm saying? But he did. He did. He did not do that. He did not do that great in that fight. Uh, both of these guys didn't do good in that in their uh, last two fights. I would suffer. I definitely say that right. Um. Everybody talk about how many McGee's uh don't have no good defense. He's just he's just out there to be hit. Now he you know he switched he got switched. Morales is his trainer now. He switched trainers to get his defense. I think better than 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 ever or, or before. Right? That might help him. You know, what I'm saying? especially he get another fight in. I think I don't think he's gonna come up to 160 and fight J Jamal. Jamal Charlo, just like that, you know. Get, I would say, give him another fight, maybe a couple of more fights to get j to fight Jamal Charlo, because he's the one moving up on weight. This is like, but you don't want this kind of. I I, I really feel like, I really feel like, uh, this might be a Julian Williams versus J J Jerry Hurt if j j if uh, Jaime McGill fight him off of one fight, then go into the Jamal Charlo fight. You see, what I'm saying, I, I really feel like. Well, just say Jamal Charlo would be Julie Williams, and then uh, Jaime McGill might be uh, Jerry Hurt. If you if because defense got to get uh, better now, Jamal Charlo, I'm not saying his defense is great, but it's better than uh, Jaime McGill because he's not his 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 chin ain't out there to be hit like that. 
I mean, of course you're gonna get hit in your chin here and there. I mean, that's just that's just part of boxing. But the way how you give defense is, I don't know how. But the thing about it is, everybody, both of these are, are both both of these fights are pushed. But at the same time, who I think is gonna, who, who I think that this might be a this this is gonna be an interesting fight. I would definitely say that. I don't think nobody's gonna be getting knocked out in the uh in the uh in the early in the early rounds or whatever like. Three or four or five or something like that. Maybe in the late rounds, maybe. It might be a knockout. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Jaime McGill can. I think he probably could knock out Jamal Tuller. But I know Jamal Tuller can definitely knock out Jaime McGill. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this, this is what I'm saying. But uh, this is me speculating, of course, at the same time. The fight, the fight got to come to reality. I hope it do come to reality. But, you know, it's kind of... Uh, but what do y'all think? Who do you think will win this fight? You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you think this is a good, a good matchup? You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to know y'all opinions. What y'all think about this? You know what I'm saying? Because both of them are six foot. Um, both, of them, oh, both of them are in their 20s. Both of them are orthodox fighters. Both of them almost got the same, like, well, you know, uh, Jaime McGill got 20, 26 knockout, but Jamal Charlo got 21 knockouts. But the thing about it is, um, the thing about it is, Jaime McGee, Jaime McGee got more fights, got like, they got like four, four extra more fights than him, so, I mean, you know what I'm saying, so, but still, at the same time, they both are somewhat of a knockout artist, in a sense, but I think, but if you talk about resumes, man, between these two guys, I would say Matt Kovalev, Junior Williams, Austin Trout, I think that Jamal Charlo have a better resume, just a little bit more better resume than uh, Jaime McGill. Jaime McGill, I don't know, his resume is, is really, I mean, because most of the fighters in Mexico, you can't even pull him up. To Don Ali, of course, that was a, a, a Smith, Brandon Cook, Dennis Holt, you know, I don't, I don't, it's just, I don't know. It, it'll be an interesting fight. It's not going to be an easy fight for both of these guys. It's not, because both of them are still young. And stuff like that. So, uh, so um, Oscar De La Hoya, hey, I'm, I'm not mad at this at, this, at, the, at the end of the day. Uh, I think it'll be an interesting fight. Hope it'll be a great fight. You know what I'm saying? So, who do who y'all think will win? Who you, um, Do you think Jamal Tala will win or do you think Jaime McGill will win? Do you think it's going to be an interesting fight or you think it's not going to be an interesting fight? You know what I'm saying? So, um, so if you have any comments, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JT from Above the Belt. All right, bye.